Hi, this is Jackson from Global Scape Support. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use custom AWE variables in your uh, event role email uh, notifications. So this can be useful in, for a lot of reasons. Uh, you might want to return a custom error code to the event role that sends a notification so that you know exactly what happened in the, in the AWE and at what point the AWE failed without having to look at the AWE log. Now, I've already set up this event rule here uh, to make this sort of easier and faster. Uh, but what I'm going to show you is how to first pass the variable uh, to, the, to the AWE so that the event rule can actually recognize when that variable is passed back to the event rule. Now, I've created a scheduled event rule that stopped, so it will only run when I choose run now. Uh, and it executes a customized variable and then send back to the event rule task. Now, this uh, you can see that this AWE is up here. Now, when you click on the AWE, it gives you an option, the AWE task within the event role, it gives you the option to specify uh, custom parameters. Now, in this case, I made a new variable, and the variable name is error code. Now, the value to start is one. Now, that's just a dummy value that will never be sent back to the event role. So, uh, also, you can see I have a notification email that goes to my email address. It says... Uh, it says basically that the event role happened and it failed and the error was and then we have our custom error code variable. So the error code variable is always going to be uh, uh, surrounded by parentheses so that we know that this is a variable or the event role notification knows that to look for that variable. So we're good to go there. Uh, that's already set up correctly. Now if we go to this customized variable task that the event role is actually running, we can click edit. I'm going to go ahead and click edit here. Now you can see here it's brought up this uh, variable task. You can see here I've created a move action within this task. Now the source is C colon this file does not exist dot txt and that file actually does not exist on the C drive and therefore this this task will always fail or this action within this task will always fail. Now what I wanted to show you is that you can actually customize a variable uh, when when the task fails. So what I want to do is I want to uh, configure this task to when it fit that, that when it fails, it's going to set the variable that we passed. Now the variable's already passed, so we don't actually have to specify it anywhere except for in this. So the error action is going to set variable, and we're going to choose the variable name error code, which is the variable that we passed from the ADA, uh, from the event rule. Now the variable value in this case, we just kind of want to uh, specify something that's going to show a custom error code. So in this case, I'm just going to type the AWE failed to copy the file. Click OK. And then we want it to stop task. Now, the stop task is important because the event rule is not going to know it's a failure unless the task is stopped by the AWE. So I'm going to go and click OK. We're going to save this message. Now, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and run the event rule. Now that, again, the AWE is always going to fail, and since it failed, it's going to send this notification, and it's going to have our custom error code variable. So we'll go ahead and run this. Now, I received an email. You can't see it. I'm going to go ahead and move it into the, into the uh, notification here. Now you can see that our error code was passed, and it was customized, and it says that the AWE failed to copy the file. And you can also use this in a plethora of ways. Uh, you don't have to just use it for notifications. So let's say you wanted to populate the custom variable with the file name. And then what you can do is just delete that file, or you can copy it to an archive so that you know that that file failed to copy. Uh, you, can, you can use that in a copy move action within that, same, uh, within that same context. So you can use it for file names. You can use it for error codes. You can use it for a number of things. The possibilities are endless with this AWE. So again, just to kind of summarize, the most important thing is that you specify the variable within the event rule and set the, uh, set the variable to some other value within the AWE. At that point, the, uh, the variable will be available in this uh, if action failed section always. And thanks for watching this video. Uh, 